Hi, Anthony Saul is Dave Walker here, your Connect Guru with some really great information on Connect Meetings. When I was thinking about this session, I was taken back to my sixth grade class. Sixth grade was chaos. Sixth grade was mayhem. Sixth grade was the next best thing to UFC. There was one guy in sixth grade that had already been held back two previous years. This guy, who I'll call Mark, because that was his name, was a man among boys in sixth grade. He was a bully. There was only one other person in the classroom who could challenge his supremacy, the teacher. I'll call him Mr. B. Well, Mark and Mr. B went round and round all the time. A couple of times they even wrestled each other to the floor and rolled around in the dust bunnies while the rest of the class watched and waited to see who our next master would be. Anyway, I think Mr. B would have loved to have the control that Connect Meeting gives a host. Connect has some really cool features pertaining to managing attendees in your meeting room. First of all, we need to be clear on the different roles people can have in the meeting room. There are three roles, host, presenter, and participant. Now the hosts have supreme authority. They have access to all the menus and buttons, can move, resize, and hide pods, and they can manage other attendees' permissions. Notice that I'm speaking of hosts in the plural. That's because you can have several hosts in the meeting at the same time. The same thing's true for presenters. A presenter can navigate PowerPoint presentations, upload content, broadcast webcam video and audio, and moderate the chat pod. Participants can only view what goes on in the meeting. They can participate in chats and polls, as well as download files from the FileShare pod, but can't affect anything else in the meeting room. One of the coolest features of Connect is the ability to predefine the hosts and presenters before anyone actually logs into the meeting. You can do this when creating the meeting room, or afterward, you can edit the meeting room attendees. To predefine attendees, they'll need to have an account on the Connect server. Then, we can select their name from the available users and add them to the current participants list. Once they've been added, you can select their name in the current participants list and change the role they'll have when they log into the meeting room. And as I said earlier, you can designate more than one host or presenter. Also, back in the meeting room, you can select people who have logged in and change their role on the fly. So anyone in the attendee list pod can be made a presenter or a host with a couple of mouse clicks. You can also be more specific with the permissions you grant participants. In the attendee list pod, you can select a participant and in the Options menu, you can select Change Enhanced Participant Rights. This allows you to specify which type of pod you want the participant to be able to control. Another thing you can do as a host is remove users from the meeting room. Now that's what I call power. Mr. B would have loved to be able to remove Mark from the classroom. So enjoy the power. You don't have to put up with a solution that doesn't give you complete control of the situation. Remember, X means has been. So let WebEx be WebEx. If you really want to get connected, get Adobe Connect Pro and feel the power.